I would like for you to join me for a coffee in the sky. Let's head to Thailand's Airplane Cafe. Now the Airplane Cafe is about 45 minutes drive outside the city of Chiang Mai, where we are today. But the first thing we need to do is acquire a motorbike. Now it's always important to remember to price check around whenever you're gonna rent anything in a foreign country. Today I spent about 20 to 25 minutes looking at rent-a-bike places and I found one for about 200 to 250 baht for the day, which equates to roughly about five to six US dollars. And something that I really love about Southeast Asia sometimes is the hit or miss of sidewalks. Like sometimes you have them and then other times they're just not there at all. Are we gonna get hit by this car? Oh. And look at this, I just rented a motorbike and it comes with Doso. Yeah, Doso. The... Doso's the Thai riding dog. How great is that? So the motorbike's been fully acquired, we have gotten gas, and what's crazy is I actually bartered with the guy to get this for a much cheaper price. He wanted 250 baht, the 200 baht bike was not available. And I basically said 150 or I'll go somewhere else and he was just like, okay. Sometimes that happens when it's a little bit later in the day and they know the bike's not really gonna get rented, they'll drop the price for you. So 150 baht is roughly, oh, what is that, like $4? I think that's a good price. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been driving forever, but I think I, we finally found it. Look at this. It's a, it's an air, I almost just cursed right there. It is a entire airplane cafe. Oh my God. This is absolutely insane. I literally just stepped off the motorbike and you can see that I am literally standing right under this massive Airbus 330. And you can see here that they have a sign that basically gives all the aircraft's features of like a wingspan of 60 meters. Uh, the overall, the, the height altitude was 41,000 feet. Uh, the range, it could go, wow, look at this, 11,750 kilometers in one flight. Uh, there was business class, economy class, unfortunately no first class, but I don't care man, this is crazy. So from what I was reading online is this place is really cool actually. So we have to go to the ticket office like you would do in an actual airport and then we buy a ticket, which is our entry into the aircraft and it comes with a drink at the cafe. Hello. Can I just get one ticket? Yeah. Amazing thing. And that comes with the drink. Yeah. Huh? Can, can you put your drink? Which one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many to choose from. Um, let me go with a Thai iced tea with brown sugar bubbles. Okay, I've never had that before. Thank you. Amazing, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. And you can see right here, there's an entire menu of all the drinks that are served at the cafe. And now we've gotten our boarding pass and that means we can go onto the airplane. And what's even crazier is this whole place is modeled just like an airport. You can see that there's a little wait area. Uh, this is basically like the boarding desk. It says ticket check-in and then airplane. So I guess at this point, we might as well go get on the aircraft. Wow, this is pretty awesome. Wow. This is so crazy. Thank you so much. Now this is something that I've never done ever in my life. Welcome to the cockpit of an Airbus 330. And I'd like to tell you that this is my first time sitting in the cockpit of an aircraft. So what I think is absolutely wild is this used to be a fully functioning Airbus 330 and you can even see from the control panel. Obviously some things have been taken out here, but there are still levers here, a bunch of buttons. I'm assuming that's the throttle. I'm no airport enthusiast. And you can see it's just planted right off the side of the highway. But I think as I'm saying this, my drink is ready from the cafe. So I've just picked up my drink from the cafe and let's check out business and economy class. I've been on a lot of airplanes in my life, but this is definitely the most unique experience. So right now I'm sitting in the economy plus section and let me show you 
what I think is probably some of the coolest features on this aircraft. So you can see some of the original features from the aircraft are here like life vest under your seat and when you look up you can actually see the aisle numbers are still here, the air conditioning which doesn't work but there's central air in this whole aircraft at this point. Uh, I'm assuming that these used to be the reading lights and what's a nice addition is some outlets. Wow and this aircraft used to be fancy, look at what is on the seats. You have full-blown controls of your channel, volume, uh, light. I'm assuming there was probably a TV here at some point. Let's see if this goes down. Wow, this does go down. Look at that. So I'm in the rear of the aircraft now, but what's really cool is they've formatted the whole thing. So there's little coffee tables here. You can literally pick wherever you want. I'm assuming they've taken a decent amount of the seats out just to give it more space in here. Um, but I have, while I've been sitting here, I've been, I've had one question this entire time, and it's that if the overhead compartments actually open. And I'm going to open the crew only one just to see. Wow, look at that. It does. Now, what's a really cool part of being around here is you can walk underneath the aircraft. If you come up to it, you can touch it. Um, I'm not sure if those, I mean, the tires feel pretty real, but just look at how absolutely massive this thing is. Now, personally, I've always had this fear growing up of like standing in front of a jet engine and having it turn on. Well, uh, I am doing exactly that right now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move while I still can. All right, well, that was my time in the the airplane cafe i'm not gonna lie to you i'm still sitting here thinking did i really just have a coffee in an airplane am i still standing on an airplane the answer is yes